Have you ever wondered about the enduring allure of classic Hollywood films? Happily, the 1973 movie starring the iconic Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman is a timeless example of the cinematic treasures that continue to captivate audiences. As you revisit this gripping tale of friendship and survival, you might find yourself pondering what classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite. Now, before we delve into this cinematic journey, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's explore some random facts about Papillon that add depth to this enduring classic. Papillon is a 1973 film directed by Franklin J. Schaffner, based on the autobiographical novel by Henry Cherire. The story revolves around the indomitable spirit of Henry Papel and Cherire, a wrongly convicted Frenchman sent to the notorious Devil's Island penal colony in French Guiana. There, he forges an unlikely friendship with Louis de Gas, a counterfeiter, and together, they plan daring escapes from the inescapable prison. The film is known for its gripping portrayal of their struggles, enduring friendship, and relentless pursuit of freedom. Papillon is celebrated for its raw depiction of human resilience against insurmountable odds, and it left an enduring impact on popular culture, solidifying its place as a classic in the prison escape genre. It remains a testament to the power of the human spirit in the face of adversity. The 1973 movie Papillon has an intriguing backstory that adds a layer of mystery to its narrative. Although billed as a true story, the French government disputes its authenticity, claiming that much of the story is fabricated. They assert that Henry Papel and Cherire, the central character, was incarcerated in St. Laurent, not the Devil's Islands, and there are no records of him serving time on the infamous Devil's Islands. This controversy raises questions about the film's accuracy and the extent to which it faithfully portrays the real-life events it's based on. This dispute with the French government adds a unique dimension to the film's legacy, making viewers wonder whether it's a faithful retelling of Henry Cherire's experiences or a work of cinematic embellishment. This controversy has sparked debates among audiences and scholars about the line between fact and fiction in filmmaking, and it adds a layer of intrigue to the movie's history. So, while Papillon is celebrated for its gripping portrayal of resilience and friendship, it's worth considering the debate over its historical accuracy and the French government's claims that challenge the film's claim to be a true story. The 1973 movie Papillon had an interesting journey to the big screen. It's one of those rare films that were given two major releases by two different distributors. First, Allied Artists released it, and then Columbia Pictures re-released it in the same year. This dual release is a testament to the film's enduring appeal and impact. The movie also has a connection to its source material. It was released four years after the publication of the autobiographical novel by Henry Cherire, upon which it's based. Interestingly, a sequel to Cherire's book, Banco, was published in the same year as the film's release, 1973. This sequel has never been adapted into a movie, making Papillon a unique standalone representation of Cherire's story. Another intriguing aspect of the film's production is that it was shot in sequence, an unusual approach for a production of this size. This method allowed Steve McQueen, who played the lead role of Henry Papillon Cherire, to develop his character in stages, adding depth to his portrayal. In conclusion, Papillon is not just a classic prison escape movie, it's a film with a remarkable history of dual releases, a connection to its source material, and an unusual filming sequence. These facts contribute to the movie's enduring legacy, and make it a notable piece of cinematic history. The production of the 1973 movie Papillon faced its fair share of challenges. At one point, the money ran out, and no one was paid for three weeks. It looked like the production might be shut down altogether, and the future of the film hung in the balance. However, when Steve McQueen found out about this dire situation, he took a principled stand, telling the producers, unless everyone gets paid, I don't work. His unwavering commitment to the project and the well-being of his fellow cast and crew members was both admirable and instrumental in resolving the financial crisis. This situation improved after his intervention, allowing the film to continue its production. McQueen's determination and dedication inspired everyone involved in the project, reigniting the collective passion to bring this gripping prison escape story to the big screen. The story of Papillon's production not only underscores the challenges of the filmmaking industry, 
but also highlights the solidarity and resilience of those who work tirelessly to make the movie a reality. It's a testament to the unwavering spirit and determination of the cast and crew and a reminder of the indomitable human spirit in the face of adversity. In the end, Papillon became a classic and a testament to the perseverance of all those who refused to let adversity stand in their way. This compelling story of triumph against the odds is a testament to the power of teamwork and dedication in the world of cinema. The crew of the 1973 movie Papillon had their share of adventures behind the scenes. While filming in Jamaica, they indulged in the abundant marijuana available, even going so far as to mix it into drinks at a party. This unconventional choice led to some unfortunate consequences, with several people, including director Franklin J. Schaffner, falling ill and causing a day's delay in shooting. The production also faced challenges related to the film's prison set. This massive set, replicating the infamous Devil's Island Penal Colony, was constructed in Falmouth, Jamaica, spanning an impressive 800 feet in length. The sheer scale of the set added complexity to the filming process, requiring meticulous planning and execution. These behind-the-scenes incidents shed light on the less-known aspects of the making of Papillon. While the film itself is celebrated for its gripping portrayal of resilience and friendship, the off-screen stories of partying and the challenges of set construction provide a unique perspective on the production of this classic movie. Steve McQueen's commitment to authenticity in the 1973 movie Papillon went beyond just his acting. He insisted on performing a daring stunt himself, jumping off a cliff. According to McQueen, this experience was one of the most exhilarating moments of his life. His dedication to making the film as real as possible added a thrilling dimension to the movie, showcasing his determination and fearlessness. The stunt was not just a display of McQueen's bravery, but it also underscored the level of commitment from the cast and crew to bring the gripping prison escape story of Papillon to life on the big screen. The film's authenticity and the risks taken during its production continue to be a testament to the unwavering spirit and dedication of those involved in its making. So, when you watch Papillon, remember that the exhilarating cliff jump wasn't just a scene. It was a testament to the dedication and fearlessness of Steve McQueen in his quest to make the film as real as possible. It's a prime example of how the film's production pushed boundaries to deliver a truly captivating cinematic experience. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the world of Papillon, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this timeless 1973 movie has had on your life. This enduring tale of survival, friendship, and the unbreakable human spirit has woven itself into the fabric of our hearts, and it's now your turn to share your personal connection. What memories does Papillon evoke for you? Perhaps you recall the first time you watched it, the characters that left an indelible mark or the emotions it stirred within you? Did it inspire you to be resilient in the face of adversity, to value the bonds of friendship, or to appreciate the beauty of freedom? Your thoughts and memories are like treasures waiting to be unearthed. Share your reflections with us, for it's in this collective sharing that we keep the spirit of Papillon alive. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of experiences that this movie has touched, reminding us that its message is as relevant today as it was in 1973. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic voyage, for your time, and for sharing your thoughts and memories about Papillon. Your voice adds to the rich chorus of appreciation for this remarkable film. Until we meet again, keep the legacy of Papillon alive in your heart, and remember, your story is a part of the bigger picture. Warmest regards.